One of the first things you notice about any Mac is the dock. The dock is the strip of icons across the bottom of the screen. On a new Mac, the dock will look very different from mine, and on your Mac, the dock will look different from mine as well, because you can customise it. The dock stretches across the bottom of the screen, and by default, when you roll over it, different icons get larger, they magnify. The dock's divided into two parts. On the left-hand side are applications on your Mac. On the right-hand side are various folders, such as your Documents folder, your Downloads folder, and perhaps some others. At the right-hand end is the trash for your Mac. It's easy to customise the dock and make it look and behave how you want it to. The first thing to do is to come to the System Preferences. As you know, you can get them from under the Apple menu, System Preferences, but you'll probably find the icon for the System Preferences in the dock itself. Click on System Preferences, and once that opens up, come to the Dock Preferences. They're in the top line of the System Preferences. You can also get to them more quickly and more easily from lower down the Apple menu, Dock where there are various options you can control directly or call up dock preferences from here. This dock on my screen is as large as it can get, but perhaps you'd like it smaller. Just move the slider and you'll see you can make it quite small indeed. You can't make it go away altogether. Magnification controls what happens if you roll over an icon. You can see they get bigger. You can turn it off altogether if you like, and then nothing happens. Or if you still like the magnification but find that too much, you can wind it down a bit. So things will get slightly bigger, but not enormously so. One of the things I find very useful is where to put the dock on the screen. By default, it goes across the bottom. But if you prefer, you can add it to the left of the screen. Notice now that the trash can is at the bottom or you might prefer it on the right of the screen. And again, the trash can is at the bottom and the finder is at the top. It's up to you where you want your dock. You can make the dock automatically hide and show by checking the box, automatically hide and show dock. When I tick that, the dock will disappear. Now, to get it back, I simply need to go down to the place on the screen where the dock is. Obviously, if I'd placed it on the left, I'd need to go to the left of the screen, or the right. I still have mine at the bottom. I'm going to leave it showing at the moment. You can open and close applications and quit them from the dock as well. Animate opening applications causes the dock icon to bounce when you click on something that isn't already open. Minimise windows into the application icon. I'll show you what that means. I'm going to close this and I'm going to open text edit where actually I already have a couple of windows open. Here's one of them. I can minimise this window by clicking the orange button. When I do, watch how it goes down into the text edit icon there. And I can call it back again. I'm going to come back to the dock preferences and show you one more thing, the genie effect. When I minimised that window before, you will have seen it kind of slink down into the dock. If I choose the scale effect, watch what happens this time. When I minimise the window, it goes down with quite a different animation. I prefer the genie effect myself. And here's a little trick that you won't easily see. I'm going to come to my text edit window, this could be any window, and I'm going to hold down the shift key and choose minimize. Or I can hold down the shift key when I click on text edit to maximize the window again.
This is a good one to use when you want a new computer at work and your boss is standing behind you. Just quickly hold down that shift key and let your boss see how slow your computer's going. I'll talk about the dock again another time, but try moving the dock around, repositioning it, playing with it, and making it work better for you.